What is up everybody? I wanted to come to you guys with my AEW review. So let's jump right into the show. To start off the show, we had a bunkhouse match with the Butcher and the Blade versus Dust versus Dustin Rhodes and QT Marshall. This was a really, really fantastic, really damn good match to start off the show for AEW in this bunkhouse match with the Butcher and the Blade versus Dustin Rhodes and QT Marshall. This was a really, really fantastic, damn good match, man. This match was entertaining as all hell. This match was absolutely fantastic. This bunkhouse match was brutal. We seen blood in this match. We seen we seen kept we seen a cow uh, we seen a cowbell used in this match. We seen a steel chain used in this match. We seen chairs used in this match. We seen tables used in this match. I mean, this match was absolutely brutal. This was a really, really damn good, fantastic match to start off the night for AEW in this bunkhouse match with the Butcher and the Blade versus Dustin Rhodes and QT Marshall to start off the show. This was a really, really, really damn good match. Really brutal match as well. I mean, there was a lot of weapons involved in this match, man, to start off the show. This was what I was talking about. This match I love. This was a very, very, very damn good match to start off the show tonight for AEW, man. This show, this was a damn good match, man. I love this match. This is what I'm talking about. This is what AEW needs to do from now on. This is what AEW needs to continue to do. This match wowed me. I love this match, man. This match was outside of the box. This match was different. It was something different than what AE door what the what A it was nor it was different. It was normally different than what AEW you know does. It was it was different. It was something outside of the box that AEW normally doesn't do. It was outside of the box and I really really loved it, man. This match was brutal. It was it was a it, we seen we seen blood, we seen we seen weapons used. I mean, this is what AEW needs to do. I mean, this was a really really damn good match to start off the show tonight on AEW with the Butcher and the Blade versus QT Marshall and Dustin Rhodes in a bunkhouse match. Man, this match I absolutely loved. This was a damn good match. Absolutely loved it. This match was fantastic. I loved it. This match was awesome. It was damn it was a damn good match. This match was hardcore. This match had blood. This match had weapons. This match had everything you could want in a in a in a just a great match, man. This is what great matches are all about, man. This was a damn good match to start off the show for AEW in this bunkhouse match between the Butcher and with the Butcher and the Blade versus Dustin Rhodes and QT Marshall to start off AEW. This was the best match of the night in my opinion. This match was very 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 damn good, man. This match was entertaining as all hell. I would absolutely go back and rewatch this bunkhouse match with the Butcher and the Blade versus Dustin Rhodes and QT Marshall. This match was absolutely freaking fantastic. I love this match, man. This was absolutely awesome. This match was brutal as all hell, man. This match is what AEW needs to do. This match wowed me. This match brought me out of my seat, man. I, I love matches like this because this is what... AEW needs to do. This was something different than what AEW normally does. This is they're thinking outside of the box, and I've been saying this for months on end. This is what AEW needs to do. They need to start being. They need to start thinking outside of the box, and they did that tonight with this bunkhouse match with the Butcher and the Blade versus QT Marshall and Dustin Rhodes, and it's very very damn good. Brutal hardcore match tonight on AEW to start off the show 
This match was absolutely fire. It was fantastic. I loved it. It was absolutely the best match of the night. Absolutely loved it. And QT Marshall and Dustin Rhodes ended up picking up the win over the Butcher and the Blade in a very, very, very damn good match in this Bunker House match to start off the show for AEW. And then the second best match of the night was Ty Conti versus Red Velvet. This was a very, very damn good women's match. This was the second best match of the night, in my opinion, on AEW between Ty Conti and Red Velvet. This was a very, very damn good women's match and the second best match of the night on AEW. This match was very, very, very good, man. This was... A damn good women's match between Ty Conti and Red Velvet. Man, these women absolutely, they went out there and had a very, very damn good match in this one-on-one -on -one women's match on AEW. These women absolutely had a damn good match. This was the second best match of the night on AEW. In my opinion, this women's match was the second best match of the night between Ty Conti and Red Velvet. This was a very very damn good match between two between two women man this match was absolutely freaking awesome i love this match between ty conti and red velvet on aew this was the second best match of the night in my opinion i absolutely loved it great match with ty conti and red velvet on aew and red and ty conti ended up picking up the win over red velvet in the second best match of the night on AEW. And then we had then we had the main event, which was um we had the main event. We had the main event with um with Penta El, El Zero Miedo versus Ray Phoenix. This was the third best match of the night in my opinion on AEW in the main event of AEW. This was a very, very damn good main event with Penta El Zero, Met Penta El Zero Miedo versus Ray Phoenix in the main event of AEW last night. This was the third best match of the night, in my opinion, in the main event of AEW with Penta El Zero Miedo versus Ray Phoenix. This was an absolutely freaking fantastic match between two awesome luchadors and two brothers. This was a freaking fantastic match, man. This was a very, very damn good one-on-one -on -one match between Penta El Zero, uh, El Zero Miedo versus Ray Phoenix on AEW in the main event of AEW. This was the third best match of the night, in my opinion. These two brothers absolutely destroyed each other. These two brothers absolutely had the third best match of the night. In the main event of AEW, this match was absolutely freaking fantastic. I love this match between Penta El Zero Miedo and Ray Phoenix. This was the third best match of the night last night on the, on AEW, in my opinion. I love this match. This match was entertaining as all hell, man. These two brothers absolutely went, went to no lengths to absolutely destroy each other in the main event of AEW last night between Penta El Zero Miedo versus Ray Phoenix in the main event of AEW. This was the third best man this was the third best match of the night last night on AEW. These two brothers left it all in the ring and absolutely went to no lengths to destroy each other in this one on one match between Penta El Zero Miedo versus Ray Phoenix last night on AEW in the main event of AEW. This was a very, very damn good match between two very, very damn awesome luchadors and two brothers last night in the main event of AEW. This was the third best match of the night, in my opinion. The, I mean, Penta L, Penta, I mean, Pentagon Dark, Pent, Pentagon Dark and Ray Phoenix absolutely had the third best match of the night last night on AEW. And Pentagon, and Pentagon El Zero Miedo 
ended up picking up the win over his brother Ray Phoenix in the main event of AEW. So I'm going to give AEW a 3 out of 10. The bunkhouse match with the Butcher and the Blade versus QT Marshall and Dustin Rhodes was very, very good. That match was brutal as all hell. I mean, that match was the best match of the night, in my opinion, to start off the show. That match was absolutely brutal. A freaking fantastic match. That match was very, very, very good. The second best match of the night was Ty Conti versus Red Velvet. That was the second best match of the night for the women. And the main event between Penta El Zero Miedo versus Ray Phoenix in the main event of AEW last night was the third best match of the night. So overall I'm gonna give I'm gonna give AEW a three out of ten. I thought AEW was a pretty decent show. I enjoyed the I enjoyed the matches that they had on AEW last night. I enjoyed the matches. The matches were uh, the matches were good. I enjoyed it. Uh, the Bunker House match was the best match of the night in my opinion. But the matches overall on the show were pretty damn good. I enjoyed the matches. I thought the matches were pretty damn good. The match, inter I mean, the show entertained me. It kept my attention. Um, I thought I thought the show was pretty damn good. The one match I didn't care for, I didn't care for Sean Spear versus Scorpio Sky. I didn't care for it all that much. It did it did nothing for me. I just I don't care for Scorpio Sky versus Sean Spears. That match did nothing for me. That was a waste of time. But overall, I'm gonna give AEW a three out of ten. If you guys like this AEW review, hit that thumbs up. It helps my YouTube channel in the YouTube algorithm. You guys make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications here on the channel. And thank you guys for watching this AEW review. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this AEW review as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys. So anyway guys, I'm going to give AEW a 3 out of 10. This show was pretty damn decent. I liked the show for what it was. It kept my attention. It kept me, it kept, it, you know, kept my attention. I loved the matches that they had last night on AEW. I thought the matches were pretty damn good. I enjoyed the three matches that I told you guys about. I enjoyed those matches. Those matches were fun to watch and very, very entertaining as well. So overall, this the show was pretty damn decent. I thought the show was decent for what it was to be a 3 out of 10 show. Um, so I, that's what I'm giving AEW. I'm giving AEW a 3 out of 10. So thank you guys for, for watching this AEW review. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a great Thursday. I will see you guys back here tomorrow night for the SmackDown Live review. And until then, guys, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for all notifications here on the channel. Thank you guys for watching this AEW. Thank you guys for watching this AEW review. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys. You boys out, man. Peace.